The 716 in two minutes, brought to you by Custom Carpet Centers. I'm Hannah Bueller, and we're taking you through the 716 in two minutes. 10 o'clock was far from happy hour in Buffalo and across all of New York State. Bars and restaurants were forced to close for the night hours earlier than they normally would. Any place with a state liquor license must close for the night at 10 o'clock due to COVID-19 restrictions. A family of a young mother who was shot and killed in her home is a step closer to getting justice tonight. Ernest Green, Daniel Rodriguez and Sherry Bailey are now charged with the murder and the death of Danielle Cretacci. Prosecutors say Cretacci was killed at her home in the town of Tonawanda last year. Oshai Children's Hospital thanked Bills fans with a banner outside of their facility. They're thanking everyone who donated in the name of Josh Allen's late grandmother, Patricia. Fans flooded Oshai's website with $17 donations after they learned of her passing. Those donations now total more than $445,000. Now let's send it over to meteorologist Autumn Lewandowski. Well, we have a cool start to the day along with a, I, I'll call it mild, but it's pretty average for this time of year for Saturday. Highs are going to be in the middle 40s. The sunshine will be coming out. Now for Sunday, things begin to change. A high wind watch is in effect. This is for much of Western New York from Sunday morning through late Sunday night. As we take a look at our forecast, our Saturday is dry and clear, mind you, and calm before we deal with rain coming in for our Sunday. Not only are there rain showers, but we'll deal with high winds as a frontal system finally passes through. And as it does so, it's going to take that mild milder air with it. Some lake effect rain returns for the end of our Sunday and turns into even some lake effect snow showers early Monday before coming to an end. We're cold into the middle of the week with highs in the 30s. The 716 in two minutes brought to you by Custom Carpet Centers.